Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom collage frame for Canva using Photoshop. Frames are a helpful feature where you can add photos or elements that will take on the shape of that frame. In this video, we're going to explore how to actually create a collage style frame. In Photoshop here, I'm going to create a new file. I'm just going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels, and then we'll go ahead and click on create. I'm going to use the command or control with the minus key just to zoom out here. And then I'm going to access the custom shapes tool here. If you right click, you can see your custom shape tool. And then selecting here by the shapes, I'm going to go to legacy shapes and more. If you do not see this in your panel, just click on this icon here. and and then just click on append default shapes. So we're gonna to go to all legacy default shapes here and I am going to go to shapes and then I am just gonna access the basic heart shape here and then I'm just gonna draw, draw it out using the space bar. We'll just kind of size it to our canvas here. So we have a heart shape that we are going to use Accessing our move tool here. Let's just go ahead and center this on our canvas And then let's go ahead and create some guides view guides new guide layout We'll just go to columns to rows just so we can see Our canvas divided here. So we have our heart in our guides and we can see how it looks here Next we want to divide this heart into four parts so I'm going to just create a new layer here, clicking on our rectangle tool. You can right click to see our rectangle tool. I'm just going to click on the canvas. I am going to have it take up half of the canvas. So in this case, I'm going to go 600 pixels, but we will maintain the same height as our canvas. So it was 1200 pixels, clicking on OK. And then I'm just going to align it to the right and to the top here. So it takes half of that area. Let's go ahead and duplicate this layer, Command or Control J, and then I'm going to move it to this left side. So we'll use those align tools to the left. And then let's go ahead and duplicate both of these, Command or Control J. Click in on this layer here. Let's go ahead and rotate it. So I'm going to go Command or Control T to get our free transform tool, and we'll just rotate it 90 degrees. And then we will align it to the top and left edge and then let's do that with this one command or control t let's go 90 degrees and then we will align it to our bottom edge and the left edge let's go ahead and bring our heart to the top and then let's go ahead and change its colors just so we can see what it looks like in contrast here so i'm going to go ahead and make a copy command or control j Let's take this first rectangle here. We'll bring it above. So I'm going to select these two layers, our rectangle layer and our heart layer. So let's go command click to select that layer. One thing I want to point out is that these are both shape layers. And in order to use this next feature, they do need to be actual shape layers. So we're going to go to layer, combine shapes, and we are going to subtract our front shape. So in this case, we now have the bottom part of that heart. So I'm going to go ahead and take this heart layer. Let's duplicate it again, Command or Control J. In this case, we are going to take the bottom. We'll bring it to the top there. And then we will go Shift click and we will do the same thing. Layer, combine shape, subtract the front shape. And now we have the top of our heart. So we'll go ahead and put this at the top. So we have our top and our bottom. Let's just give this a new color so we know what is happening. Let's go green here. So we have divided our heart, but we need to divide it further. So I'm going to take this rectangle layer. I'm going to go to the top of this blue one. I'm actually going to make a duplicate of this because we'll need to do this to the one here as well. Let's go ahead and duplicate this this heart shape here. So we'll take our rectangle, we'll take our heart shape, we are going to go to layer, combine shapes, subtract front shape, 
and we have one part of our heart. Let's go ahead and make that yellow so we know what it looks like, so we know what we're dealing with. And then we are going to take this rectangle. Let's go ahead and duplicate it, Command or Control J, because we will need it again. And then we will select both of these layers. We are going to go to Layer, Combine Shape, Subtract Front Shape. And then let's go ahead and give this green. So we have the top right part of our heart, top left part of our heart. And now we just need to repeat that again with the bottom part of our heart. So let's bring this one up here. Let's duplicate it, Command or Control J, because we'll use it again. And then we will take these two layers here. The bottom part of our heart and our rectangle will go to layer, combine shape, subtract front shape. And then let's go ahead and give this one a color. We have orange, and then let's do this last one. We'll go to layer, combine shape, subtract front shape. And then let's go ahead and give it a blue color. And so now we have the four different parts of our heart. We had our original heart. We'll go ahead and turn off the visibility there. And we have our heart. In order to make a frame for Canva, we need to bring in an image and we need to create a clipping mask with that image. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded. I'm just going to take an image here of the beach that I got from Unsplash.com, which allows for, which provides images that you can use free, free for commercial use. So I'm just going to click Place. We'll go ahead and bring this to the top here. And then I'll need to make four copies of this, Command or Control J. So we have four instances of it, and then I'm going to place it in front of each of my elements. We can go ahead and delete our original heart here. Let's go ahead and use the Move tool here. And we're dealing with the right half, so we'll align it to the right. And then I'm just going to right click and create clipping mask. So now we're doing with the left side, so we'll just align that to the left edge, right click, create clipping mask. And then now this is the right side, so we'll align it to the right, right click, create clipping mask. And then we have our left one, so we'll go left align, right click, create clipping mask. And so it is the same image for each of the frames, so it will look um, similar here, but we have it all set up. Next step is make sure we have this saved as a PSD file. So I'm going to just go ahead and save it. File save. Just give it a name, heart frame. I'm going to save it on my computer. Click on save. Let's go ahead and pull up Canva. In my Canva dashboard here, what you're going to do is go to upload. Click on choose files. Navigate to your document and click on open. It says importing your file. I'll click to view. We can see that it is being imported. We'll click into the document here. So if I click on my elements here, I can access each of these frames. We'll go ahead and click on this one. I'm going to click on more and then I'm just going to click to detach image. We'll go ahead and delete it. Click to detach image for each of these sections. And then we'll delete that there. And then we have our frame. One thing I would do is I would select all of these and go ahead and group them together. That way they will um, size and move together. So now we have our heart frame. Let's go ahead and add some elements. So let's go ahead and look for a dog because you love your dog or your cat or your pet. So let's go ahead and add a cute dog photo here. We can just create a fun collage of these dogs. That did not work, so let's try that again. Looks like our image is not being... Let's go ahead and detach that image. There we go. Okay, let's try dragging these in again here. There we go, that one pulled in. And then if you want to edit it, just double click and you can bring your image. Let's go ahead and try this image again. 
Let's go one more. As we can see, we're getting just a little bit of a error. Um, it doesn't seem to want to do what it's supposed to for the moment. Sometimes I find that happens a little bit with frames, um, but you just kind of have to play with it a little bit to get it to what you want. So we have our cute collage frame here with our pets. So this is a fun little collage frame that can be used in Canva. Thanks for watching this video on how to create your own custom collage frame for Canva using Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.